Come to the back of your mat. Whatever side you choose, check out your feet. Just kind of rock back and forth a little bit. Just find where you feel settled into your feet and then find that middle ground. Pull up from the belly and then let's just slowly roll all the way down and just find that nice hang. Drop your head, really let your head just hang here for a moment. We always hold a lot of tension in our neck, so let's just let it hang. Bend both knees and just sink down maybe a little deeper. Relax your shoulder, now straighten both legs. And do that again, bend both knees and straighten. One more time, bend. Straighten the head, raise just a little soft, scoop up the belly and slowly roll back up. Feel like you're pushing the floor away from you. Round up. Maybe your shoulders roll around, your arms might swing. You might rock a little bit back and forth again into the legs, getting them nice and awake. And let's do it again. Round it down. All the way. And just hang here. Again, shake it out, maybe bend one knee at a time. Find what side might be a little bit crankier than the other, a little tighter, and maybe you just hold on that side for a moment and breathe into it and see if you can create a little bit more length through the whole back side. Again, release the neck. And then bend both knees a little bit as we roll back. So this next one, let's just walk out to a little down dog, upstretch position. So roll it down. Find your floor. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. Walk it on out. So remember, it's about three quarters of the way out or so. It's not out to quite plank yet. And again, it is our first little upstretch position, so we might be a little tight. So I always like to pedal one knee at a time. Just get my calves stretched out. Because I know when I get into this position, that's what I feel first. Whoa, tight calves. Nice and tight. And then try to take it out of the shoulders. Feel like you could stretch your mat longer, but pull your shoulders back and release the neck. Now maybe both feet just get a little heavy. Your heels don't have to touch the floor. Try to feel more like you're flipping your tailbone up towards the ceiling and just sink down and push your weight back using your arms a little bit. And then maybe they start to settle down a little bit more. And then from here, let's bend both knees a little bit, and then try to really pull your tailbone up towards the ceiling as if you're trying to lengthen into your low back a little bit more. Now feel that length in your low back, especially if you're tight back there like I am, and now slowly straighten the legs. Do that again, bend both knees, Feel like you could flip your tailbone up and elongate into your low back without leaning forward and then slowly straighten the legs. One more time, bend the knees. Feel that flip of your tail. Feel that length. And then straighten the legs. Walk your hands back. Hang here again. Release the neck. Shake it out. Even though we were keeping our weight back, we still feel it up in our shoulders and then round up, right? It's inevitable. I know in upstretch and down dog, we're supposed to take all the weight out of our upper body, but hey, it's gonna be there, <laughs> right? Here we go, one more time, roll it down. Find your floor if you need to bend the knees, find it, and let's walk back out, right? Be nice to yourself, right? Especially first thing we're getting started. You haven't stretched or anything or moved. All right, so find that little down dog again. Walk the feet closer to each other. Okay, plug your shoulders. Now, if your knees have to be bent, that's fine. All right, listen to you. But from here, I want the arms straight, though. Like you're stretching that mat forward, but the knees can be bent if that's better for you. From here, step up into the belly. Take the right leg and just start to reach it up and back, about hip height. Now, watch that you all of a sudden ditch. Transfer your weight in one arm. Like, oh my gosh, I feel everything in my right arm. Try to get both arms nice and solid and the left leg, right? So we're holding yourself in this three tripod, actually. It's a tripod position, right? And then just slowly bring that leg down. So let's take note when we bring the left leg up. 
left leg. Easier, harder, okay? Just taking note where your body wants to start to lean and put more weight. Try to make it even. Now, obviously, your left arm wants to take over, but try to make it work on both sides. Even. And then bring that leg down. Go ahead, walk your hands back, bend the knees if you need to. Hang down, bend the knees a little bit, grab onto your elbows with the opposite hands, and just let your arms hang. Let your head, maybe you sway a little side to side. All right, release the arms and pull the abs in, but this time once we come to standing, a little balance here. So once we're up, just let your arms settle by your side, pull up into the belly, focus on something across the room, and slowly bring your right leg up. Think of it as a standing tabletop, and then set that leg down. So just a little balance. And now the left leg comes up. And again, take note of what leg feels better. Let's do it again. Right leg comes up. Now I want you to all of a sudden buckle into the standing leg. And what I mean by that, by buckling, is sometimes we start to bend that knee and dump into the hip. So I don't want you to do that. Try to really get that leg straight and long. Pull up your kneecap. Squeeze your butt. Engage your inner thigh. So we're really pulling up. I like to think of it as like a little tree trunk, right? You're pulling up and it's nice and solid. So of your leg, hold it. Leg is long and straight. You just grew even taller. And now let's hold the right leg up this time and let's just keep it here. Now you can either stay here or if you want to practice, close your eyes and just see the difference. Ooh, hello. Ooh, and then put that leg down. Open your eyes. <laughs> A little freaky there, right? All right, here we go. Other leg, left leg comes up. Find it first. Close your eyes. Breathe. Whoa. Open your eyes. Set that foot down. Kind of queasy, huh? All right, let's go ahead and roll, roll all the way back down again and find our down dog. All right. Bend the knees if you need to. Let's find our down dog here. Spread your fingers apart, press your weight back. Shoulders are plugged down. So I'm, look at your hands for a second. Spread your fingers apart and feel like you're stretching that mat forward and really press your whole hand into the mat. Your fingers, your palm, everything. Arms are long and straight. Now plug your shoulders back. From here, we're gonna bend the elbows wide. The heels will lift. So it's a modified push-up. And then press. So I'm not shifting forward, just bending the elbows so my body lowers and then press. So obviously when my elbows bend, my heels lift and then press. Again, inhale, try not to shred the shoulders. Feel like your elbows are pulling wide across the room. Your gaze is between your feet. So that's where I'm looking right now. I'm looking right between my feet and just watching them move with me. Right? They're secondary. They're not lifting first. Last three. Pull up in the belly here, guys. And two. Try to get the legs long. If you need to bend them, that's fine. Two. One more time. One. Can you hold the bend? Pull your abs in. Can you bend the knees to a hover and then straighten? Now straighten the arms. Bend the elbows. Hold. Bend the knees to a hover. Straighten them. Straighten the arms. Do what you can on this one. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms. Two more. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. One more time. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms. Let's walk on back again. Make sure your feet aren't too far apart. Drop your head, soft knees as we roll back up. Once we're back up, little balance check again. Relax your shoulders. Squeeze your butt cheeks, right leg comes up. Let's hold it here. Now either stay here or straighten the right leg out and bend it in. Full abs in, four. I don't care how high that leg is. Three, if where you can hold it. Two, keep your left leg long. One, can you hold it, hold it, hold it, and lower it down. Shake it out. Make sure, again, feet are underneath your hip bones, right? 
The wider stance, the harder. Here we go. Left leg. Find it first. Squeeze your butt. Extend five. Abs in four. Stretch the leg three. Two. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And lower it down. All right. Rolling it on down. Going out to our down dog once again. Scoop up into the belly. Find your floor. And you know, in these positions, this down dog little push up thing we're doing, if it's not working for you, come to your knees. Okay? Please do it that way. Okay? Or you can just hold the down dog and practice that. Now, again, I'm going to look at my hands, make them a little bit more narrow. Spread the fingers apart. Now, rotate so your elbow bone faces the ground. Actually, this is what I want us to do. In this position, everyone set your knees down. Don't change. Keep your toes where they are. Okay, so my hands are more forward. So this is what I want you to practice. Everyone bend your elbows so your forearms go all the way down. Okay? Got it? You see that they're the same distance, and now straighten. Do that again. Down. Up. So this is the movement of what we're going to do with our legs straight. You can stay here if you want. If not, keep everything where it is. Straighten up and back. So we didn't change anything. Shoulders are back. Bend the elbows like you just did and straighten. You don't have to lay on the floor, though. Try to get as close as the floor as possible. If you're not feeling this in your triceps and you're feeling just maybe your shoulders, go back to the knees and do the prep again, right? Down and up. Down and up. Trying to get my elbows as close to the floor. Obviously, the heels are lifting as I bend, like we did earlier. Last three. Just feel those triceps kicking in. Now, bend the elbows, not all the way. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms. Bend the elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten. Straighten arms. Two more. Elbows. Bend the knees. Straighten legs. Straighten arms. One more. Bend. Knees bend. Straighten legs. Straighten arms. Let's set our knees down this time. Find a child's pose. If you were getting sweaty palms like me, you might have started slipping a little bit. Like, woo. Yeah. So really get a big stretch. You can round up. Maybe roll your shoulders around. Let's do a quick uh, arm stretch, chest stretch here. So go ahead and take your arms out like a T. Take the right arm across your body and just grab onto that upper arm and just give it a nice pull here. Pull the shoulder down. You can drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Neck might be a little tight here. And then go ahead and open the arms and then grab the upper part of your arm and pull and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Breathe into it. Good. And then go ahead, bring the arms up, clasp the hands, bend your elbows back and squeeze the elbows in towards your head. You should feel a nice little tricep stretch here. Lift the chest, try not to arch your low back. And then go ahead and bring it all the way up. All right. So we're coming on to all fours. So hands and knees. And spread your fingers apart. Feel the floor underneath you. Curl your toes under. Couple cat cows, then we add on. Here we go. Shoulders are back. Strong arms. Exhale, tuck your toe by pulling up into the belly. Push the toes into the mat. And then lift your feet. Push the top of the feet into the mat. And pull your chest a little forward. Exhale, curl the feet under, push into the mat, and pull up in the belly. Think of stretching your low back as you're trying to suck your abs in. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Extend your spine. Again, curl the toes under. Exhale, round up. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Extend. One more time. Curl the toes and round up. Keep the toes curled under. Find neutral. Now from here, give me just a little tuck in your tail. So think of a pelvic curl, just that little scoop, that little tuck. Now maintain that. Keep your toes curled under, and now exhale, lift the knees up an inch or two, 
and tap them down. Keep the little tuck. Suck the tummy in. Exhale, lift. Tap. Again, exhale, lift. If it bothers your hands or your wrists, you can go on to your fist. Keep doing the lifts here, guys. Exhale, lift. Right? You can always go like this. Here's a modification for the wrist. Again, exhale. Another one for shoulders is wide. Take your hands out in a wide position. Okay. So this is a modification, again, for wrists and maybe for a little shoulders. Okay? Last two here, guys, and I'm going to add. So find the position that works for you. All right, we're going to find that hover and stay there. Exhale, tuck, lift, hold. Hold it. Squeeze your inner thighs. Try not to shift. Keep your weight even from toes to hands. Bellies in. Set the knees down. Come back for a second, stretch the wrists out because we are going to add some little toe taps to that. Okay, some hovering and toe taps. Get the, the, the legs fired up more and also the belly. All right, here we go. Find what works best for your hands. Okay, shoulders back. Push into the ground. Feel like you're pushing it away, toes under. Exhale, tuck your tail, lift the knees, hold. Right leg, straighten it back, tap it, bring it in. Left leg, tap. Bring it in, right, and left. It's like I'm gonna go to plank, but I'm like, nope, never mind. Bring it back, out, abs in. Use your belly, you should feel your thighs working, right? Press, push the feet into the mat, squeeze your leg, one more time. Hold it, knees down. Sit back if you'd like to, again, Little child's pose stretch. Take the wrist into an opposite direction if you need to stretch them out. I got another set, not with the toe taps. We're gonna add something with the arms this time. Okay, we're gonna do it with knees down first so you get the choreography and then we'll build up. Okay, here we go. Toes curled under, shoulders back. Just give me that little scoop in the belly so we already have it fired. Make sure you feel pretty good where you are. Take your right hand, tap your left shoulder. Set it down. Take your left hand, tuck your right shoulder. So you already noticed, do it again, that your body wants to shift a little bit doing this. What I want you to try not to do is the arm that's on the ground, don't let it buckle, okay? Don't let it all of a sudden collapse. One more time. So now, you're like, oh, that was super easy, V. <laughs> Let's add a hover to it, okay? Shoulders back, tuck your tail, hover the knees. Here we go, right? And left, ooh, a little swing. Right, left, you can always put your knees down. Don't let the knees get up high. Keep them in the hover, Woo. hello. One side's way easier. Abs in. One more set here, guys. Boom, boom. Set the knees down. Find your either child pose or your shell stretch if you prefer that one. All right, that was kind of fun. And round up. Maybe, maybe not. Go ahead and give your wrists one more little stretch here. And then we're going to find our way in a seated position towards the front of our mat. Drop the elbows and give a nice stretch. Okay. All right, here we go. Make sure you have water, right? Okay. So now, have the knees bent. Feet just planted for right now. Hands back underneath the thighs. Give me a nice lift into your chest. Find that length. Push the feet down. Exhale, just start to tuck your tail. Feel like you can push the back of your legs into your hands as you do it, and then come right back up. So I'm only going halfway down. Exhale, push. Feel like you're pushing your feet down, you're pushing your thighs into your hands, and your arms actually get some work, and come back up. Right, make the upper body work too. Exhale, push, pull the belly back. And you know, through this next thing that we're doing, you can go back to this position and just work with it if what we progress to is too much for you today. Okay? So always practice this, getting your belly fired up, the arms fired, and lift. One more time here, guys. Exhale, push. Can we hold it? Now my elbows are still a little bent. Shoulders are down. Scoop the tummy. Just little pulses. 
tiny, think of a tiny crunch. Your arms are assisting them, so the biceps are engaging, the belly is moving you forward. So think of we're on our back, doing a crunch. That's all we're doing. Use your breath. Four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. Open the knees, and let's get a nice little hip opener for a second. Okay, nice stretch here. All right, so moving on. From here, I'm gonna straighten my right leg out this time. Left knee is bent. Both hands are underneath the left thigh. Lift up top, anchor down the right leg. Exhale, draw the belly. Start to roll back into that little half bird position once again. Shoulders are down. Give me that little scoop again here, guys. So think of what we did earlier, okay? And just tiny crunch again. Tiny, but have one leg out this time. Use your breath. Yep, there you go. Three, two, nothing too bad. One, come all the way up. Let's switch legs. So we're just building up. Lift up nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly in. Hold. And now little crunches again. Keep going with that. I need to just fix something really quick. Keep going, guys. Keep into your little crunch. All right, we got about three more. Okay, good. And then come all the way back up. So pull yourself up. And let's get a nice hip stretch once again. All right. So here we go. Going back, right leg is out. You can flex the foot or point it, whatever feels best for you. Grab behind your left thigh. Lift up top. Draw the belly in. Pull away. Get the arms active. Now, take your right arm out. Scoop in the tummy. From here, you're going to exhale. Bring your right leg up and down. Up. Now, I'm only matching to my other knee. Pull the abs in. Now, if you want to make it harder, both arms out. Because right, now you're not holding on, but you can always go back. Scoop in the belly. Three, two, hold the leg here. Tiny crunch. One, two, scoop the belly. Three, four, you can always grab on. Five, lower that leg. Grab, lift up, switch the legs. Here we go. Lifting top, draw the belly and find that sweet spot for you where upper girdle is nice and long. You're not rounding. Okay, here we go, left arm out if you like. Exhale, left leg up and down. Try not to move anything else. The more you scoop the belly, the more you get that leg up. Two more, or both arms out, right? You pick and choose. Hold that leg and crunch five, four, three, two, one, lower that leg, grab your thighs, lift up, do a hip stretch if that's what you need, or a hamstring stretch. I always like to go into a hip stretch after, because I feel that my hips start to want to help me out during those exercises. Okay, going back. So right leg is out, left knee is bent. Find that nice lift. Here we go, draw it in, lower down. Right arm out. From here, take a little rotation to the left. You can stay with the left hand on, or take it out, shoulders are down, tiny crunch to the left, one, itty bitty, two, three, four, hold five, left leg, or right leg lifts up five, stay in your twist, four, scoop in the belly, three, two, can you hold it on one and crunch five, four, pull the abs in, three, two, strong leg, one, lower the leg, come to center, Lift up, switch legs. Here you go, lifting up, draw the belly and roll it down. Find your spot, left arm out. Find your twist, if you want, both arms up. Your twice we crunch, five, three, four, three. They're tiny, your abs pulling you forward. You're not rocking, pull to your left leg, lifts. five. Stay in your twist, four, are your arms the same length? Three, squeeze your armpit. Two, crunch your right side, hold one, crunch one. Tiny guys, two, it's your abs pulling you. That's the only thing lifting you up. Two, use your breath. One, come to center, lower the leg, lift up. Let's give your hips another little stretch. All right, here we go. 
Going back, right leg. We're gonna add to this one. Lift the chest, lower back. Yes. Oh, who just called me? Oh, someone just called me. You guys can hear me? Oh, some, oh, I got muted. There you go, sorry. You guys can hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry, that was weird. That happened once before, all of a sudden, halfway through the iPad that muted itself. So weird, okay. Nevertheless, that was your break. Here we go, come on back. Right leg is out, technology, I love it. All right, here we go. We're rolling back again, find your little scoop, both arms out, all right. My pure Pilates people, make sure you mute yourself too. All right, from here, you can keep the leg where it is. Just start pumping the arms. Think of 100, just start pumping. You're like, okay, that's easy peasy. Bring the right leg up. Now maybe we start to lower a little on the inhale, then exhale. Inhale to go down a little. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more, hold, lower the leg, lift on up, switch the legs, here we go. Nice and tall, we're rolling it back, take the arms out, either stay here, start pumping, bring your, oh, make sure you mute yourself, guys. Oh, someone's not muting. Start going down and back up. I think they did, there we go, and up. Down, up, use your breath. You don't have to go all the way down. You don't even have to do that. Couple more. Up, squeeze your bottom, guys, one more time. Up, hold, lift up. Give yourself that nice hip stretch again, everyone. Big stretch through the hips. All right, hopefully your belly is Getting some work there. Okay, enough of that, right? Have your legs out nice. Actually, open the legs out. Let's do that. Okay, open the legs out, flex the feet, arms <coughs> in the center. We're gonna go into our roll down this way. So slowly roll down, all the way down. I don't know why this is doing my things. Keep going, guys. And then roll all the way back up. And then do it again. Slowly roll down. Keeping the legs wide if you can. All right, hopefully we're all in the up. So once you're up, we're going down again. Scoop the tummy in, all the way down. And then slowly on the up, take your time. Do what works best for you. One more time, pull the belly back. Anchor down through the legs. All the way. So once we get back up on this next one, we're gonna add something to it. All the way up. So sit tall, take your arms back, lean back a little bit, open your chest, lift the hips up. Lower the hips, sit tall, take the arms back, roll it on down. So my legs are staying wide, trying to keep them as even as possible. Arms back if you like, inhale, lift. Exhale, use your abs. Once you're up, take the arms slightly back, lift the chest, push the hips up, lower the hips, come up, bring the arms back, use your belly, slowly lower down, all the way. One more time like this, and we're gonna add to it, inhale, exhale up, Open out, find that little lean. Lift the chest first, push the hips up above as high as you can go. Lower it in. Take the arms out, hold here. Exhale, twist to the right. Take the back of the left hand, reach it past your right pinky toe. Come all the way up, back to center. Twist to the left, reach. Coming all the way up, back to center. Let's do it again, twist right. Reach, get that big stretch. Use your abs, coming up, back to center. To the left, stretch, all the way up, back to center. Let's bring our arms back, shoulders down, 
slowly roll back down. One bone at a time. All the way back. Stretch the arms back, but keep integrity into your back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, use your abs to come up. Sit nice and tall right here. Rotate the palms down. If this is too much, bend the knees, please, so you can sit tall. If not, keep the legs straight. Scoop the tummy, start to dive down and forward here, and roll all the way up. Again, draw the belly in. Reach all the way up. Just two more times. We're not going to do a billion of these. Exhale. And all the way up. One more. Draw the belly in. All the way up. Palms face each other again. Tuck your tail. Slowly melt. All the way back. Down. Once you're down, stretch the arms back. Stretch your arms and legs here. Give yourself a really big stretch that you need. Then go ahead and walk the feet in. Walk your feet, though, still kind of wide, right? So I have them wider than me, right? Depending how wide your mat is, maybe they're mat. Parallel feet. Take your arms back in a goal post position and let your knees just fall side to side. Just get your hips moving, get a little stretch around your hips, around your back. And breathe. One more time, each side. And back. All right, go ahead and walk your feet just about hip bone distance, so not very far apart here, guys. Make sure you're nice and neutral. Arms are down, just a couple bridges just to get our back moving. Exhale, scoop your tummy, tuck your tail as you lift the hips up. Feel like you're pulling your knees up and over your toes, and then slowly round down one bone at a time. All the way to neutral. Again, exhale, scoop the tummy in as you tuck and lift it on up. Push down through the arms, activate your arms, and round down. So really getting our back moving. Again, exhale, scoop, engage through the back of the legs. So squeeze your bottom here, guys. And then slowly down. One more time. Exhale, tuck and curl. Lift up. So now we're up. Your shoulder blades are flat. Chest is open, but we're not flaring. Make sure you're tucking your butt so no arch and low back. Push down into the floor with your feet harder. Feel like you can pull your heels towards your butt. You should really feel that activation into the, their glutes and your hamstrings. From here, we're just going to drop our pillows a little and press up. Not very big, just drop and a lift. A drop and a lift. Drop and up. Use your breath. Push through the arms. Let's go five. Four, three, two, hold here. Press the arms a little bit more. Lift your right heel, set it down. Lift your left. Now, if you're having trouble lifting the heel very high, walk your feet back towards your butt a little. Again, right. Now, when you're lifting your heel, make sure you're putting weight in the big toe. You're not putting all your weight out and rolling the ankle out, right? Because then we lose integrity of our ankle. Watch your hips aren't changing. We're just doing a little march, so to speak, right? A little heel lift. Now hold the right heel up. Push your right foot into the mat. Try not to lift the heel as high as possible, just where you don't, like I said, sickle the ankle. From here, just tiny pushes up. Emphasize that right side. So push, but both hips are lifting up. Tiny ones, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hold here, so have that right heel up. From here, lift the right knee up and tap it down. Up, and not really pushing into the mat. Every time I bring my foot down, try to activate that butt cheek again, even though now the weight's in my left. And press, abs in, press, two more. Press, one more. Press, hold the right leg up, and pulse hips, one. Two, make sure they're even. Three, four, five, squeeze both butt cheeks. Seven, eight, nine, replace your right foot, hold here. Let's roll down for a quickie second. Release your back. Exhale, scoop the tummy, tuck and lift it back up. Heels might be closer to your bum. Let's lift the left heel up. Again, tuck your tail. 
push down into the floor and pulse up. So I'm really pushing into the ground with my left foot to lift. My heel is lifted, but only as high as I keep my ankles strong. Right? It's as if we're doing the standing up on our tippy toe. Lift. Four, you should feel that activation. Two, hold here. Push into the ground. Left leg comes up and then push down into the back. Lift up, push it down. Again, lift. Make sure you're activating through the right side. Again, up. Both sides are working. Again, lift. Push into the ground. Lift. Push. Again, three. Push. Two. Push. One. Push. Pull the leg up. Pull hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pull. Replace. Lower that heel. Slowly round. All the way back down a moment. Hold right here. From here, I'm gonna walk my feet more forward and flex my ankles. So it's the opposite. So what I want you to do is make sure you're out enough that you can get some good flexion in your ankles. Now dig your heels down and pull your heels towards your butt. Arms are down before we do anything, okay? Scoop the tummy in, squeeze your bottom. Exhale, tuck your tail. As you lift up, pull your heels towards your butt. And now from here, we're gonna lower two counts of our butt up, two counts. So down, down, up, up, down, down. Feel like you're pulling your heels towards your butt. Up, up, abs are in, lift up. Three more, up, up, two more. Dig your heels, one more, up, pull. Keep digging those heels. Take your right leg up, heel dig, lift. Heel dig, again, right. Heel dig, left. Like our little march again. Dig the heels up and up. One more, up. Now I'm gonna keep my right one up. Both feet are flexed. Push right leg out and four, three, two. Yes, you're gonna feel your ankles. Hold one, full hips. Five, four, three, two. One, bend the knee, lower it, keep that flexion. Here we go, guys. Left one comes up and push it out, five, four, keep it long, three, dig your heels, two, pull the leg out straight and pulse, five, four, three, two, one, bend it, lower, lift, slowly round all the way down. Shake it out, yes, you're gonna feel your ankles here. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. Whatever your body needs. Go ahead and cross right ankle over left thigh. And let's just get a really good hip stretch here. You can rock a little side to side. Find what feels best for your body. And then go ahead and do the other side. Find that little figure four, if that's for you, good for you. If not, go into a stretch, that's best for you. And then real quick, keep the right knee in, stretch the left leg out. Just give it a nice little hug, maybe you go side to side a little. I'm gonna go into a crossover. So take left hand on right knee, right arm out, and do a little twist if that feels good for you. Breathe into it, I'm sure we're warmed up enough, or at least you should be. And then bring it on back and switch. Right leg out. Give it some love. Left arm in a little goal post and then find your crossover. Right, doing bridges is a lot of uh, backside work. It's not just about your hamstring and your glutes. Your back is working too. Right, the whole back body. So yes, we're going to feel it all through our whole backside. Which is good. We need to do that. All right, give the knees a nice hug. Go ahead, stretch your legs out nice and long onto your mat. Arms up, legs squeeze. Inhale, lift. Exhale, use your abs. And come up, give yourself a nice stretch here. Roll back up. All right, from here, going to start actually with my right knee bent. I'm gonna grab behind the right thigh, okay? Lift your chest, we're gonna roll down kind of like we did earlier, but we're gonna go further back not quite to shoulder legs. We find a different little sweet spot. So draw the belly in, start to roll back. Now I'm gonna start sliding my legs with me. 
And now my low back is down, but ribs are up. I'm gonna bring my right leg to tabletop. So I'm up higher than usual. Shoulders are down, okay? So now push your right leg out away from you. So it's kind of a longer angle and really activate the arms. From here, just tiny crunches up. One, just itty bitty. Two, not too bad. Three, four, hold right here. Kind of like what we did earlier. Left leg is gonna come up and do. Exhale. You're in that nice high position. If you need to go down lower, go down lower. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Take the left hand out. Shoulder down crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay here. Either keep where you are, take both arms out, and up. One, two, three, four. Hold, grab that thigh, pull yourself all the way up. Stretch the right leg out. Bending through the left side, we're gonna repeat that. Lift up on that left leg. Draw the belly and start to roll back. The leg will come up. I'm pushing, literally pushing my leg into my hands and getting some solid connection. Lift up, scoop in the pelly. Little crunch, one, two, just double arm, three, four, Hold, left or right leg now, and up one, two, three, four, five. Right arm is out, we crunch one, two, three, four, you can always go back, five. Both arms if you like, one, two, three, four, five, grab back on, and pull all the way up. All right, going back the same. I'm gonna hold behind both thighs this time. Lift your chest, start to bend the knees here. As you go down, my legs are sliding because I'm gonna find that spot again, that little sweet spot that works for me, right? Shoulders are down, legs are squeezing together. From here, I'm gonna lift on my right, toe tap, bring it up. Left, right. Left, and I'm letting go every time. One more. Now if you want, you can let go both, grab that bun. Both hands let go. Both hands. Both, you know you can always do this with your head all the way down too. You don't have to be up in this high crunch. It's a different kind of feeling in a different position. One more, right, left. Hold here, maybe you pull up more. Shoulders are down, scoop the belly, squeeze the legs. I'm gonna let go, both legs, both legs go down. And grab, grab, down, pull up, down, pull up. Four, squeeze your bottom, three, two, one, grab, roll all the way up, you can do an Open stretch or straight leg. Just give a nice stretch for you, whatever is best for your body to do. All right, so here we go. So much to do, we have such little time. Okay, so I'm gonna come on to my right side. I'm lining myself up at the back of the mat. Legs are all the way out, but I'm gonna bring my feet in the middle. Okay, my butt, shoulders, back are all lined up with the back of the mat. My head is resting on my bicep, palm is up. Look down, my feet are in the middle. All right, from here, suck your abs in, squeeze your butt. Lift up through the waist a little bit, and try not to flare the ribs to do it. Drop your ribs down a little. Let them relax down towards the floor, but pull them in. Maybe just a tiny space here. Left hand as it kicks down. Left leg up and down. Just five little preps here. Three, keep reaching it long. Two, Hold it on one. Now really push through the top leg like you're stretching it across the room. Bottom leg lifts, one, two. Now you gotta use that hand a little bit. Three, which is fine. Four, hold it on five. Squeeze your legs together, point your toes. Flex, both legs are lifted, point. So you're squeezing your bottom, gauging around your hips, squeezing inner thighs. One more, point, hold here. And pulse legs, one, squeeze them tight, two, Three, four, keep reaching along. Five, squeeze your butt. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, hold the legs, point your toes. Right leg is gonna scissor forward, left one back, squeeze them back, then alternate. Again, right leg forward, squeeze, then the left, squeeze. Like a little scissor kick, right? They're alternating, nice and controlled. Try to stay right on top of your hip, not rolling back on the butt cheeks. Out, one more. Now, right leg forward, left one back, lift the legs, one, together, two, they're both lifting, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep them up, switch them, and now we lift, one, feels weird, two, three, four, abs in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring them together, stretch them off, squeeze your bottom here, nice and tight here, take the left arm, find that balance, use your waist, and now take this hand down, bend your right knee in, lower the left leg, okay? Take your left hand either at your neck, if that's better for you, or you can reach it out long. Okay, I'm gonna keep mine on my neck. From here, going to give a little lift and crunch up a little, slide down. Exhale, little crunch. Down, now if you want to, left leg lifts at the same time. Stretch it, if you want, you don't have to. Try to stay long. You can always, like I said, take this arm here, if you prefer. Okay, I like to have a little neck support. Give me three. Three, two, hold here, little lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, stretch your arm over. You can stretch the left leg back. Give yourself a little stretch here. All right. Come on up and around, other side. All right, line yourself up all the way with the back and then kick your feet forward again. Feel back there, make sure you're completely lined up. It makes a big difference. All right, here we go, flexing the feet, abs in, right leg lifts, and just lower as and lifts. Just five, right, just a little prep. Four, fire up through the low belly. Three, stretch the leg long. Two, Hold it on one, bottom leg lifts. Just the bottom leg, try to keep the top one nice and quiet, so just the left leg. Try not to roll back, keep the legs long. Hold them together, point and flex, point. Relax the shoulders, right? Our shoulders start to tense up. Wanna help us, can you squeeze your inner thighs tighter together? Make them work for you, hold your feet flex. Little lifts, one, doesn't have to be high, two, Three, squeeze your butt. Four, five, pull your abs in. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold right here, point your toes. This is the scissor, left leg forward, and then back. Right leg forward, and back, again. This is where that hand starts to need to help you a little bit, especially when the right leg goes forward. Switch, squeeze like a little scissor. Again, switch, and switch. Pull the abs in, we got one more. Now the left leg forward, right back, and they lift. One, two, abs in, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, eight, pull your abs in, nine, ten. Switch and they lift, one, two, I know more awkward, three, four, five, squeeze the thighs, six, seven, eight, nine, Bring them back, stretch them nice and long, lower down, bend the right knee in. Right leg is, or left knee in, right leg is straight. I'm gonna bring my right hand up my head, little crunch up, and then low. Little crunch, you can stay just like this. I'm not going high, just as far as my body goes. Now, I'm gonna bring my right leg up with me. If you want, you can keep it down and just stay here. I like to think of stretching my leg really long as I'm doing these little side crunches. Right, three more, you can add the leg, right? Two, one more. Hold little lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, stretch. 
big stretch, whatever feels good for you. All right, press yourself on up. We're gonna go ahead and come onto our tummy for a moment. So lay down onto your stomach. Just be here for a little moment. Reach your legs nice and long. All right, so once we're here in this position, take your arms back where your palms are facing your thighs. So I'm reaching back, palms into thighs, stretch long. Now tuck your chest. Now my chest is a little lifted, it's not very high. It's only as high as it works my upper mid back. Tuck your tail. Now from here, I'm gonna squeeze my legs, slightly externally rotate them, and then lift them off the ground, okay? Keep reaching the arms long. You don't have to touch your thighs, but really get them as close as possible. And from here, just little lifts of the arms up. One, keep stretching the legs. Two, dig the heels together. Three, long neck. Four, hold the arms five. From here, I'm just gonna start to lift my legs a little. Just tiny lifts, not very high, because I wanna feel it in my legs, my butt, not my low back. So little lifts. You can do one leg at a time if it's too much double leg. Squeeze, dig the heels together. Give me three, two, hold here. Now from here, I'm gonna open my arms out like a T, but then open the legs too, and then squeeze them back. Open, squeeze them back. Open, now your legs don't have to be high. You can lower them down where the thighs skim the floor if this is too much. Keep your chest open, squeeze it back every time. Squeeze everything. Squeeze everything. Four more, guys. Four, three, two, hold, hold, hold. Reach the arms long, beat the heels. Squeeze them tight. Beat. Use your thighs. You should feel all that wrapping around your hips, your hamstrings, your inner thighs, your glutes. Keep going. Keep reaching arms long. Breathe. Now hold. Hold here. Rotate the palms down. Rotate your legs to parallel. Start kicking the legs. Reach the arms. Long neck, look at the floor the whole time. Keep kicking, gauge your hamstrings. From here, I'm gonna take my arms back out and in. Keep kicking, open like a modified little swimming. Arms up and back, one more. Hold the legs long and straight, pulse the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lower everything down, up and back in a child's pose. Find that big stretch here, guys. Maybe you go to shell stretch like this and get a nice stretch through the low back. And through the upper back, drop the head here, guys. Just hold that stretch, please. Keep going, here we go. And then I like to also, in this big shell stretch, Drop my hips to one side a little bit, and then to the other side, just to stretch out a little bit more into my back, into my hips. All right, coming back onto our bottom. One more nice little fun thing here. I like to think it's fun. All right, I'm gonna take my feet in a little V position. Okay, walk your feet into just a little bit. You'll see, we might have to adjust. My hands, fingertips facing, we are gonna do a set of tricep dips, okay? So you already know that. If you don't wanna do them, you can have hands out or go to the couch or a chair or something and do it that way if it's not happy for your shoulders or it's not happy for your wrist. So lift the chest up. Hands are under the shoulders as much as possible, okay? My feet are out a little bit. Lift up and let's push the hips up, up, up and check it out. Are your heels under your knees? Can you open your chest? Engage your glutes for a second. We're not doing the tricep dips yet. From here, I'm tucking. Gonna drop my butt a little and press up. And press up. And three, not very many. And two, and one. Now start to settle the butt down. Tuck it, shift back a little bit. Open your chest. Bend the elbows and press up. Bend and press. Bend and press. Just right into those triceps. Like I said, go to a chair, go to your couch. If you don't like this for your wrist, you can go to the wall. I did a little video of arm work on the wall, and it really helps if you have issues with your shoulders or wrist. Ask me if you need 
if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about. Two more. One more. Hold. Bend the elbows halfway. Lift the hips higher, higher, higher. Straighten the arms up. Lower down. Stretch the legs out. Get the arms up. Stretch your wrist for a second. Shake it out. So there's a lot. Also, the back of the legs we were just working on. Stretch up and over. Find your hamstrings. Get a good stretch here. All right. All the way back. Bend the knees. One more time. I have my feet separate now. Uh, hip bone distance not turned out. All right. Taking the hands back. Lift the chest. Here we go. This time I'm just going to lift my hips a little and then give me a little tuck. Open collarbones. Going to do two counts. So I'm going to bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Bend, bend, straighten, straighten. Again, down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Let's go three more. Up, two. Two more. Up, two. One more. Up, two. Bend halfway, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and up, lift the hips, lower down. Stretch the legs out, stretch the wrist, reach up, 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 and over. All right, so I'm gonna angle a little sideways here so you can see me better. Take your right knee, open it out, put the sole of your foot. I have it against my thigh, not my knee necessarily. Keep everything square. Lift the arms up and up over your left leg. You're pushing open in the right as you're stretching over the left leg. Go ahead, take your right arm on the outside if you can, and you should feel that stretch all along the whole right side of your body as you're pressing open the right knee and reaching over the left. And just breathe into it, go where it works for you. Carefully come back to center. Slowly walk yourself back. Let's switch the legs. Left foot is in. Again, you're on both sit bones evenly. Reach up and slowly over as far as you go, right? Try not to over round, try to find some extension. You can take your left hand and even push open your left thigh if you want to, if that's where your body needs it. Hold here, should be feeling that stretch along the right leg. Now if you want to stretch over the left arm, look under your left armpit, go for it. Back to center. Slowly come all the way up. Go ahead and come around sideways. Walk your feet close to your butt if you can, as close as your body allows. Make sure they're just a couple inches apart. I'm gonna use my hands to push myself up and forward. I just feel like I'm sitting on my heels and trying to push them down. You get a stretch in my Achilles and my calves and my ankles. Drop your head. Slowly start to straighten the legs by pushing the heels down. And find a nice little forward fold. Shake it out. Pedal the knees. As you're here, reach the arms back. Stretch them up over if you like. Bend the knees. Drop your head. Shake it out. Release your arms here. Slowly roll all the way up. Rolling your shoulders around. Ah, and you're done. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, guys. And I hope everyone had a fun time. And I'll see you next time.